days are like normal. <laughs> I guess we'll see. <laughs> I can see past like her outside figure because she's so beautiful on the inside. It doesn't really matter about what's on the outside to me. It's kind of scary to think about like what she's gonna look like because <laughs> like who knows like it's just like a mystery so it's gonna be weird to get used to but it's not gonna determine like the way I act or feel around her like I'm always gonna think she's beautiful. It's gonna almost get 100 pounds. 100 pounds? Oh my gosh. <laughs> my head Probably this big. When Jennifer was born, she had a birthmark, which soon grew worse. I started to bleed all the time when I was like three months old, so I would always have to get blood transfusions. They had tried to cauterize her veins, blood vessels, to see if that would make it stop, and that, would not, that wouldn't even work for her. There'd be times where I was terrified to go to sleep at night because her nose would bleed in the middle of the night with her not even crying or anything. And I'd wake up and there'd just be blood covered all over the sheets, it got down her stomach and that would make her really sick. Um, there was a point in time where she got so sick and was so pale that she threw up a ton of blood and I had to call 911. I almost lost my daughter. It was the scariest day of my life. She only had like two pints of blood in her body left. They had to give her a blood transfusion. Although Jennifer was officially diagnosed with AVMH12 and has had several surgeries, including the removal of benign tumors, she's still at risk from blood loss. This basically makes my nose bleed all the time, it makes my gums bleed, and has completely eroded the bone line in my teeth. And if my teeth fell out, then I could bleed to death, so that really is...